So next one is the summarize function. The summarize function takes the first argument as the table. Okay. And then you can specify the group by column. Okay. Which column you want to group it. And then you can specify the subcategory also. You can specify more than one group by column. And then you can use some function. See the group by function, how it works like that. You can do it with the help of summarize function. I will just show you the summarize function, how it works in Power BI desktop. And also we have something called DAX Studio. Okay, in DAX Studio, you can go and download the DAX Studio from the internet. DAX Studio is completely open source. You can use DAX Studio also to write a query. For example, in this case, I think I did not use the DAX. So what I'll do is I'll, I just press the window button and here I just type DAX Studio. I don't know whether I think I deleted it. No, no, it is there. DAX Studio. Can you all see it? Studio. Okay. So this is one I'm talking about. Okay. This is the one I'm talking about, the DAX Studio. The right side open is there. So this is the one. Now also you can go to the Google and type download DAX Studio. It's completely free of cost. You know, it's an open source. You can click on open. You just download that file. It's a very simple installation step. The exe file will get downloaded. Click on the exe file and click next, next. It will get installed. Okay. It is that much simple. Look here. Now it is launching the DAX Studio. Whatever the DAX query that you write it as part of Power BI Desktop, you can do it in your DAX Studio, DAX Studio itself. But the advantage of DAX today is, see, there are some DAX queries, DAX functions. You have to use uh, create table. There are some cases you need to click on the new measure, right? Here, you know, you don't have to uh, go back and forth here and there. So look here. Now I just uh, click on the, I just launched the DAX to do. It is asking me now, it's a table or server or Power BI. I click on the Power BI because we are using Power BI. I don't have any SSAS, okay? And I just select this one. Here, if you click on the here, right, you can see the number of report files that you opened it, you can see it here. And you need to select which report file you want to connect it, okay? So we are talking about top and rank and summarize. This is where the summarize function is there. I'm going to click on connect. It is not necessarily summarize function, okay? Whichever report you want to connect it, from your DAX studio, you can choose that report. In that report, whatever the table that you used it, you can see it here. Can you all see it here? And then uh, the date table. Okay, you can see all the things here. Okay, and for example, the sales W04, if you select this one, and then if you click on this icon next to that, you can see all the columns, including the measures that are part of the table, it is showing here. And then you just right click on it. And if you click on preview data, top 500 sales records is show here. It shows, so don't get confused. This is your SQL query, okay? Uh, this is related This is related to a DAX studio, okay? Give me display the first 500 records from this table, okay? Or if you specify 100 records, you know, give me, or you know, first uh, 10 records, don't display everything. You select it and then you can click on the run button here. It will give you only the 10 records or you know, just uh, give me only two records. But make sure that you are using dev evaluate, okay? Followed by the evaluate, you specify top end and give me the top two records in sales W04 table. So first two records, but don't get confused. These are top two records with respect, to, with respect to sales and all. No, no, no. From the top, let's say you have 10, call, 10 rows are there. First to two rows, it will get displayed. Okay? That is how the this top end function works. So why we are using DAX Studio? The reason is, for example, if you, the number one reason is, for example, I told you if you use a top end function separately, you need to click on the modeling, you need to click on the new table for to use the top end function directly. But if you want to use the top end function as part of the calculate, you need to click on the new measure. So, right, you, so here to, for one DAX function, you need to use the new table, for other DAX function, you have to use new measure. 
you will get confused when to use, when to click on, when to see here, you know, that headache is not at all there. Whether it's a table, whether a DAX query returns a table or whether a DAX query returns a scalar, a scalar value, it doesn't matter. Okay, you don't have to go back and forth, right? So can I use new measure? Can I use new table? You don't have to have that confusion. You can go and see here there is no button on the right for a table separate button, measure separate button. Like this, you don't have separate separate button. You can write it everything here itself. So here itself, you can see the queries output. For example, I'm going to write um, the summarize function. It is already there, okay, and it gives me the uh, syntax also, table name, followed by, you need to specify the group by column, okay, and what I do is, for the sake of uh, readability, I just type it to the next line, and here I just say, um, okay, sales W04, so sales W04, and then the square, uh, come on, first argument is your table, right, second argument is your group by column, okay, sales w04 and within the parenthesis i'm going to select the category simple example i just press enter okay and do a group by on the category column and for that uh, you need to use a sum let's say we want to use the sum function okay total sales and here i'm going to use a sum function sum of sales uh, sorry sales underscore w04 on this uh, sales column okay i'm going to close this function this is for sorry this is for sum and this is for the overall thing okay so what is the equivalent of the sql query here the sql query is select sum of same thing The equivalent SQL query is this one. For I am your table is, let's say your table is sales W04. Okay, and group by group by category. Okay, category. Sorry, sales W04 and category in this specify category. That's all, guys. But here, total, you so if, if this one will not give any column name, right? What we use in, uh, what we do in SQL uh, server, use the reserved word called as total sales. So this SQL query will not uh, get executed here. Just for your understanding, I wrote this SQL query, okay? Even a layman can understand this SQL query. So when you use hyphen, right? Uh, hyphen, that is the comment, okay? This will not get executed. Even if you select longer, because you made it comment by prefacing it with uh, hyphen, okay? This for your reference, okay? Now, I want to execute this one. If I click on run, it will throw an error. Look at query, the syntax is incorrect, okay? So what you need to do is you need to, uh, you know, put something like evaluate here, evaluate. Is it something like, you know, um, this is specific to DAX. If you write any DAX query, use evaluate, okay? So, you know, put it in evaluate thing. And if you execute this one, it gives the output here. Can you see the output? Yes, now it works fine. So each category, give me the total sales out of the total records. How much total sales we made in furniture? How much total sales we made in for technology office supplies? <clears throat> so this is how we can use uh, DAX Studio. The <clears throat> employer, they will expect you to be good at DAX Studio also, how to use DAX Studio. Okay, what is so big deal here? So here you don't have to have the headache of it. Go here, click on the modeling ribbon, uh, go and click on the new table and then uh, put the summarize function there, right? Again, summarize columns is there. So I need to go and click on the new measure and then I need to put it. So that headache is not there. You can write it commonly, any DAX query without clicking on new table, new measure on top, right? You can do it everything here itself. 
Got it. This gives me the uh, sales. So what is the total sales in this case, uh, which is nothing but the column name of this one. The sum of sales value zero for this. We are giving some meaningful column name. Okay, total sales. Okay, total sales. And then we are we did the group by on the you remember in Power Query editor, we did the group by, isn't it? The same thing you can do it with the dash query called summarize function. And here itself, we have something else called roll-up function. I just copy the entire script. I just paste it down below here. So down here. So here, what I am going to do is um, I'm going to use um, roll-up function. Roll-up. Uh, roll-up is uh, group by column names. Okay, whichever column you want to group by it, I'm going to use it roll-up. And uh, that's all. So let's see what happens with this query. I'm going to click on run here. And with the roll-up function, I can get the same output. It gives me the total sales by each category. And it gives me the you know, grand total, right? It gives me the overall total. It adds all the value. It gives me the total with the roll-up. Okay, roll-up based on the category okay and all the add all the categories total sales and then you give me that that is what the roll up function does okay and you can use more than one column also okay and that way also you can use it for example uh, you can use uh, instead of category we will use little bit different column okay country or uh, country is a big thing uh, region i have a region column is there Gives me the total uh, look here. You can move this up also. And then you can see uh, here we have one blank record. That's the reason why it shows something blank. This gives me overall sales. Okay, each region wise, it gives me the total sales. And here, what I do is I'm going to add one more column here. Okay. You can use more than one column in your group by that we have seen it as part of our creator. You remember there I have used uh, the category and segment, right? Here, what I do is instead of region, I'm going to use uh, the category in the simple column. Come on, you can use group by for more than one column also. And here, if I execute this one, <clears throat> you can use more than one column also as part of group by. So you can see that furniture category, we have three segments. Each category we have three segments. Forget about the blank record, okay? Forget the blank record. And for each category, we have three segments. In furniture category, corporate consumer home office, technology corporate uh, consumer home office. And each category uh, and each segment, what the total sales? Total sales by segment by category. We can see that here, okay? And, and the end, at the end, you, if you see here, right? You have the grand total and also in category subtotal it gives me the subtotal and grand total okay in furniture you tell me in furniture category how much total sales i made irrespective of the segment okay in technology seg category how much total sales we made irrespective of, irrespective of the segment irrespective of the segment give me how much total sales i made in office supplies it gives me the breakdown of the sales by category at the end and here it gives me the breakdown of segment by category, right? It gives me the sales, total sales. And here it gives me breakdown of sales by category alone. And then it gives me the grand total also. If you use more than one column, this is what you can get it, okay? Yes, uh, Soundarya, if you, if you change the column, right? Segment here, category here, you can get the segment wise uh, sales here, okay? Oh, you wanted to know how many number of records are there? In addition, yes, yes, you can use more than one column also. See here, even in the measures, this is measure, right? The total sales. And uh, sorry, not here. And I just go over here. And then our question is, how many number of records are there in each region along with the total sales? Can I display it? Is that what your question? Yes. Uh, number of... Uh, For that, you can use count function. 
mm, count of uh, we can give the order id right mm -hmm. order id sales order id is there yeah <clears throat> You can use more than one column as part of a group by. Sorry, here uh, category. Okay, here I should have used it. Yeah, the, uh, here uh, roll up. I use the two different things. Okay, okay, what I will do is I will use the order. There also you can use it. Here, here I'm going to say the number of times instead of typing it, I just copy paste this. The entire line I should have copied it. So uh, along with this category segment order, it will display number of transactions, okay? I just click on it here. There is a mistake here. Uh, count function, it ended with the order ID. And uh, roll up function, yes. Okay, okay, this sum function, I did not end with the parenthesis, okay? So when you uh, click on the uh, parenthesis here, right? There should be a closed parenthesis here, okay? This one is for summarize function, overall thing, okay? And this one is for evaluate. I just click on it. And now it is displaying it correctly. You can see that uh, in each category segment, total says number of transfers. In furniture category, in, in, within this furniture uh, category, right? The corporate segment. The corporate segment uh, uh, that is part of the uh, category, furniture category, this way number of transactions happen invoices were raised, right? The same corporate company in technology category, 2,364 invoices we raised it. And right. So, and then in the office supplies, the corporate 2,916. And uh, we can see that uh, the total number of transactions compared to the other category in office supplies, um, corporate segment, the number of um, transactions were more, right? You can, what you do is you can include another column called profit total profit and then you check does number of uh, trans total number of transaction has any influence on the profitability more the transactions uh, means more the profit that's a common phenomenon but uh, you can check it out uh, you know by including an additional so come off sum of uh, sales of zero profit okay that is an assignment for you all okay give it a try on that also okay and then uh, see there is a confusion here right um, which where it starts the um, where it starts where it ends right so office supplies and corporate okay where it starts everything right so what i will do is we have something called ease subtotal function okay ease uh, subtotal function and and i'm going so okay i'm going to use that one here what i will do is i'm going to use another function called ease subtotal okay is subtotal we have a is subtotal function and here uh, what i will do sales uh, w04 order id yeah i'll tell you wait wait i will just uh, here is um, yeah you cannot use here For everything, you need to specify the column name, okay, for aggregation functions. Uh, no, it gives me an error here. Uh, number of transactions count, sorry. Here, uh, sales w is subtotal. A single value for column ordering table cannot be determined, okay. Uh, okay, okay, sorry. Here, what will be subtotal? Uh, here, because we are using two different columns, right? Category and uh, let's do one thing. Category. Okay, we use category instead of order ID. And then we will see here. Now, 
for this is subtotal, right? It gives me true wherever it is. For example, in this case, category I mentioned, right? And uh, next to the category, okay, everywhere it put for, okay, no, no. It gives me the true here, okay? What I will do is uh, come off. Mm. Yeah, I think you cannot use more than one column. Is subtotal, it is correct. Yeah, you cannot use more than one column. Or else, uh, what I will do is, I will use um, um, the region or something like that, okay, region. And uh, here I'm going to use the region column, okay? Complete with this listed above, you may not, uh, you may need to scroll up, okay? And here it shows something, what is the syntax for is incorrect. Amar the parenthesis, okay, is subtotal. Mm, okay, and then this is for this, and this is for this is for that, and this is for this. Okay, and this for this, and this for this. Right, correct only. So basically, the e subtotal will give me the uh, true or false. So that you know, wherever you find true. So here I've used region, right? So for region level subtotal. It gives me true there, okay? So that, okay, which one uh, is a subtotal for which one? You will get to know that, okay? And here it gives me some error, okay? What I will do is I'll use uh, category. Let us see if I use category, what happens? Yeah, now, yeah, the first column I have used it here. And if I use false, right, The it gives me overall uh, total, okay? I wanted to know the region here but when i use region it is throwing an error because i used it as a second one okay here i am using the roll app yeah now it is working fine there was some, yeah look here so here i mentioned region right so here it gives me the category level sub true okay so what it does is is subtotal column Order subtotal, uh, right? Uh, instead, we will use E subtotal for reference purpose. Okay, E subtotal. Okay, and here you scroll down here for furniture. The first one, right? Subtotal for furniture technology officer is true. Okay, see here it gives you the total for total sales for a region by category, right? Is the total sales. I will you know, you know what is the subtotal for the category alone, right? So for that, this subtotal function is helpful. It it flags true for the first column, right? So for the first for the category column alone, it displays the subtotal here. Okay, and ideally it should um give me the region subtotal also. We have another DAX function. Okay, and with that we can find out. But here it gives me the first one alone. Okay, and you can just interchange the column first region and category. So ideally, it should display the category uh, subtotal uh, separately and region subtotal separately. Okay, so whereas you see in the case of uh, SQL query, we have something called analytical function. With that, uh, you know, window function is available. With that, you can display the subtotal for each group okay for category alone what is the total sales the region level what is the total sales irrespective of the region give me the total sales for each region okay sorry um, irrespective of the category give me the total sales for each region it has to give that one is not available again you need to run another query okay so you need to interchange the column and you need to put it that way okay so now you understood what is the purpose of each total function each total function it flags true 
wherever the subtotal starts. Otherwise, how will you get to know uh, where the subtotal, right? So with the true, you can easily identify this is the total, subtotal and this is a grand total. Last one is a grand, this is subtotal and the you know, rest of them are were not subtotal. Okay. Ideally, it should give, uh, this subtotal takes only one thing here. Probably we can, we'll check it out now. Mm. But it was throwing an error. Yeah, query backs when you use subtotal functions. Yeah, the maximum argument count for functions. See, it takes only one argument, subtotal. That is a problem, okay? So what we will do is, um, yeah, we will put another comma here, okay? And then, but first of all, uh, here, uh, if I specify the region, First of all, it is not displaying a region level total, right? Roll up. Yeah, query batch completed. Uh, school uh, function summarized uh, as it has seen in, uh, with an existing column. So for all, okay, so here you need to say subtotal one, okay? You cannot use the same column name for more than one column. So both of them gives me the same thing here, false true true, right? Uh, is subtotal one uh, is a region, right? It gives me, it, it is not giving me the correct thing here, okay? It gives me false for category. And uh, for the this one, it gives it is not correct. But uh, whereas in uh, SQL query, we have something called analytic functions. That is very important. When I cover the SQL part, uh, you will learn that one, okay? So in the meanwhile, why don't you speed it up by watching my SQL queries also, okay? The Windows function, they will ask you in the interview, okay? So here it is not working the way how we expected, right? Um, it is not much. See, basically, I wanted to see the subtotal for each category. Subtotal for the region at the end, I want to display it, okay? How do I do that? That is not working here. Either, right, so you need to use only one group by column here. Okay, and another query you need to write it. For that, in that you use a region, uh, you know, in the in the group by. So this is your group by R, okay? So you understood, right? See, in the, in the group by, whatever I mentioned, that is what the second argument. The second argument is suppose your group by column. So this column, okay? That is what. And sum of as total sales, right? Uh, that is what the column name for the sum. And the sum function, I used it here, okay? So that is, this is the equivalent. Or you just compare this, and I'll share this query also. Uh, yes, Sandra, I'll share this query also. You can uh, practice it, okay? So that you will be learning it, okay? Sorry, Suja, you are asked this question right here. So you can refer this query, uh, SQL query, along with this one, so that you'll be able to understand. But unfortunately, here, the subtotal is not done for these two um, grouped columns so only for first group it gives me this one these are limitation okay and the next one is the summarize columns apart from this we have something else called the summarize function yes, yes you can use some um, filtering condition also here okay so there is a question from suja okay and here our condition question is um, um can i use some condition as part of this one yes for example, <clears throat> you can use uh, the calculate function also here. Oh, you are asking about the calculate function? Can I use cal summarize inside the calculate? Uh, that is also a good question. You can give it a try, okay? I have not tried that one. You can give it a try. Because the summarize function, you can use a single group by column. You can use more than one group by column also. If you use more than one group by column, obviously return more number of values. If you use calculate function, what will happen? It will throw an error because the calculate function has to return a single value, right? Okay, okay. So, okay, we don't to try calculate for the first one at least. Calculate. 
see here the sum of you see this is the syntax here you need to specify it here okay and if you specify it doesn't make sense hence you cannot use this in calculate function okay the calculate function the first argument is supposed to be an expression but uh, you, you know you are using the expression you are supposed to use the expression here also in as per a summarized function okay otherwise it will not work hence uh, you cannot use it in calculate you can also try it out okay Hmm. What is your question? Yeah, yeah, we are going to look at the sum. Apart from summarize function, we have something called summarize columns. As the name suggests, the summarize columns takes the first argument as a column name. That's all here. Okay, evaluate. Evaluate. I just put it in the next line. And here, summarize columns. Mm, here, I just say the next line. I just need sales underscore W04 and region I'm going to use it. Okay, this is my column name I'm going to use it. And here um, I'm going to say sales by region, something like that. Okay, here I'm going to use some function, aggregation function. Here, uh, instead of using some function, I give you some function here, and here I can see the I did this one. We should have specified it here. One second. So there is a, yeah, I need to put one more parenthesis. That is for evaluate. Okay. And then I just uh, click on the run query here. Or you can press F5. Okay. F5. Okay. Sometimes, you know, the run query, when you click on it, will not work. Press F5. It's a shortcut key. So each region, what is the total sales, right? So what is the total sales in each region? You can get it with summarize column. Okay, instead of using the table as an argument, right, you can use a column name also, okay, summarize columns. <clears throat> oh, you want to use uh, average also, right, okay, okay, our question is, can I use average uh, sales by region, can I use more than one expression here, average uh, sales underscore W04 and sales. Press F5, so it throws an error. So what is the error here? The end of the input was reached. Query batch complete with errors listed above. But here, the dessert one is it will not give you the exact uh, error here, okay? And sum of sales, uh, look here, I did not put the parenthesis here. And we will press F5 again. Now it gives me this one, okay? And, uh, okay, see, the difference here is, um, okay, uh, your question is, uh, can I use, like, uh, in the summarize function, can I use more than one group by column? Okay, that's what your question. Uh, what I will do is, I will just uh, take, the copy, paste this one here. We'll put it in a parenthesis. and see if this is going to work. So can I specify more than one group by column, like uh, the summarize function? The operator expression is not supported in here, right? So now we understood the difference between summarize and um, summarize columns. In the case of summarize function, you can specify more than one column as, a, as part of your group by, but here you can use only one column, okay? You cannot use more than one column.
okay that is the difference between summarize column and the other difference summarize column takes the first argument as the column name summarize columns but you can use more than one measure okay uh, aggregation function sum function average function min function max function everything can use it but you cannot use more than one group by column this uh, the, if you want to use it you have to use summarize function but the other advantage of um, the summarize function is you can use roll up function with roll up function you can display the subtotal and all okay so um, now we have explored what is summarize function and um, what is roll up function how we can use roll up function as well as summarize function and also we have explored the summarize columns function and also we explored the difference between the summarize and summarize co columns uh, by doing and so on right we just input more than one column as for a group it is not working but you can use more than one aggregation function but here you can use a sing you know specific column alone you cannot use oh you want to use category uh, followed by the comma okay so here uh, what she says is instead of putting it in the parenthesis can't we use it uh, like this put comma here okay and then you why don't you try it out so yes sorry uh, I, I have to take my word back. You can use more than one column as a group by column. Okay. That is also working. Okay. So, uh, but uh, the difference is, so you can use roll up function as part of uh, your summarize function, which gives you the subtotal. Summarize function and summarize column function, both of them are similar in one aspect. You can use more than one group by column and um, you can use... Um, more than one measure also to do the aggregation function, to use the aggregation function, but the roll-up is not available with summarize columns, okay? But other advantage here, instead of taking the entire table, you are just taking only the two columns, right? Hence, the performance will be faster here. Which you are working with um, 1 billion records, and in this case, you are taking only these two columns, but whereas you are taking the entire table column there, right? The entire table, Obviously, all the columns belong to that table will, will be used. So, from the performance point of view, this one is better. So, that is where the DAX query is very much helpful. Look here, we have something called server timings. You click on the server timings. And at the bottom, you can see the server timings here. Okay. And now, what I will do is, um, I will execute, uh, okay, region and category, right? Same thing. I am going to execute this, this query and then... Uh, what is the problem here? Okay, the comma. I think I removed a comma previously. Okay. This one is for that. And yeah, and if I execute this one, F5, now it got executed. And if you go to the output results, you can see the output. And then the server timings, if you click it here, and we have formula engine and storage engine. If you see the formula engine, 16 milliseconds storage engine takes. 67 milliseconds total 83 million seconds it takes and if i use the same query with summarize columns so remember this milliseconds okay 83 milliseconds in total but when i use summarize columns look here it uh, you know it takes less time right 32 milliseconds one but overall 33 milliseconds only it takes that so the reason is here we are using only the specific columns instead of using the entire table you are using only this if you use a table name alone which means you are using all the columns from the table instead of using all the columns your requirement is only these two columns you want to group by okay just specify the column name alone that is possible with summarize columns if you use summarize columns compared to summarize the performance will be faster but uh, there is a trade-off here you cannot use roll-up function here okay you cannot use roll-up okay you want me to use See, roll up, I can use it here. See, simple thing is you cannot use parenthesis, right? Okay, Shuja says, why don't you try? Okay, if I use roll up function, we will see what happens. It is throwing error. Okay, for roll up function can only be used on group by column name parameters, summarize function. Look here, he explicitly mentioned it very. You cannot use roll up with your summarize columns function as i told you it is not possible you can use roll up with summarize function only ideally if they can include this uh, the roll up function as far as summarize columns that will be you know, really good right probably microsoft we can suggest that 
you can why don't you include the roll up as per a summarize because summarize columns the performance is pretty faster if i execute the summarize function once again so you cannot go literally you know based on one time thing sorry uh, we are supposed to test this one i press f5 and then go back and check uh, so now you know 52 milliseconds it got reduced and the, you know, the, the summarized columns, 30. so in both the cases, right, um, the summarized columns performs better. In the intro, you can tell them, so we did some kind of fine tuning. Uh, the developer was using summarized function blindly uh, for doing a group by on a two columns. What we did, uh, since the group by has to be done only on the two columns, and, you know, I have removed the summarized, instead of summarized, I introduced summarized columns. With summarized columns, I could see that the uh, the performance is pretty fast. So that I evaluated by enabling server timings in the DAX Studio. This performance tuning, guys, this is very much important. Syntax, everything can learn it. So this is the thing. Uh, you have to learn it by practice only, okay? And also you have something else called uh, the query plan. You can see the query plan. And uh, if you click on the query plan, that one will get enabled. And you can see at the bottom query plan, you can see the physical query plan and the logical query plan. You just uh, execute it one more time so that it will generate the physical plan and the, the logical plan, query plan. Okay, this is a little bit difficult to understand that. And you can see the sales W4 uh, sales table is used and the VertiPack engine comes into picture. As I told you, it's an imported data. And average uh, vertical back and it does the scanning and uh, it does the none here, some vertical back because here we are using some function and we have used the average function, so average vertical back and some vertical back. Okay. It is a little bit difficult to understand the physical and logical plan, uh, but uh, over a time of period, you will learn that one also. Okay. You just uh, press this one and you can see the group semi join everything and when you look at the query plan one more time not the query plan server timings if you see seven milliseconds right we executed these two queries summarize query and summarize columns for the same type right we use the same two group by columns same columns right in the group by and the performance faster which one the summarize columns okay this is how you can tell them, okay, after introducing the summarized column, uh, we reduce the um, uh, latency by 15 percentage or 12 percentage. This is the value that I brought you to the table. If you say you are a three plus years experience, you need to tell all these things, okay? Okay, with this, I'm going to wrap up. Um, you have, have any questions as of uh, today's session? Yeah, the assignments, please complete it uh, on this weekend. And uh, the next session will be, uh, you know, we'll continue with this one. You leave me only this weekend. Okay. Uh, from next weekend onwards, we will continue uh, every weekend, Saturday, Sunday. And um, next week, um, Tuesday and Thursday will continue. Okay. Tuesday and Thursday. Meanwhile, you have a lot of time. Complete all the assignments in, in our website. Uh, at the end of each module, some assignments are there. Quizzes are there. Please complete it. Okay. Uh, yes, Suja, I will share the script. Don't worry, okay, to you all. Don't worry, okay. The report file also. Sure, sure. I will share the report file and that one also, okay. Next one is, yeah, we need um, two more DAX sessions to complete the DAX part, okay. And importantly, anything little dynamic, you need to uh, revisit it. The interview, they'll ask you, how do you do dynamic top end? So the dynamic is very much important, okay. Okay, since you don't have any questions, I'm going to wrap up the question session now. And uh, meanwhile, please go through PL300 topic also. Okay, PL300 also we have added to your course, right? And go through and, you know, there you will find a lot of scenario-based toughest questions. You try to complete that one also, okay? That one also will add more weightage um, at the time of interview, okay? You cannot tell, you know, I, I, I went through the dump and all. But you can tell them, uh, you know, you can answer the interviewers very confidently. Okay. Okay, guys, since you don't have any questions, I'm going to end the session. And yeah, those of you, yes, Suja, if you want to take up the training, you can take, sorry, the exam, right? You can take up the exam from Microsoft.
Yeah, they charge um, around six or seven thousand. That's all. Okay, you can take up the certification. That will add more weightage. See, nowadays um, all the employers expect the associates to have some certificate. If you say I am Microsoft certified TL three, I am Microsoft TL three hundred certified associate, that will obviously add more value. For that, the dump will be helpful. But what I would suggest, right at this moment, you focus on the interview, clear the interview, and um, you know get into a job. Okay, fine, guys. Uh, because that certification preparation will take more time. Okay, that's why I'm saying. Okay, I'm going to answer next Tuesday. We are going to.